Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and I'm catching up on my reviews, and for this one, I'm skipping over Batman v Superman, because that one, I'm gonna have something special planned for that one, and instead I'm going right to Hardcore Henry. Now, if you haven't heard about that movie, I honestly don't blame you. It's made by the studio called STX Entertainment, who made other gems this year, like The Boy, Free Stay of Jones, Bad Moms. Anyways, and they have two other films coming out this year. I mean, they're, they're just putting them out, aren't they? Whatever. And this one is about, well, Henry, and the entire film, first of all, is the POV shot of the character. It's in first person, the entire movie, and if you don't like that movie immediately, you're going to be turned off by it. So, like, the movie is about where Henry wakes up in the lab, and he sees that he's being put back together, and this woman who says that she's his wife tells him how she saved him and how she loves him and stuff, and then all of a sudden a villain comes in and kidnaps her, and then he wants to go get her back. That's basically the entire movie. It's him trying to go and get his wife back from this villain. Now first, the reason why I wanted to go see this, first of all, was when I watched the trailer, it looked like it would be a completely nonsense, just mindless movie, and that's what it is. And you know what? To be honest with you, there are so many problems with this film. For example, like how no character is developed, really. Every single character in this film is one-dimensional. You don't care about any of them. You have a one-dimensional villain. You don't really know much about Henry. They don't do anything to explain because they just don't care. The the girl, you do learn a bit about who she is, but it's handled so poorly. And it's first person, while amazing to watch at first, gets extremely repetitive about like at the 30 or 40 minute mark. Even earlier on if you don't really like that kind of stuff. It's not that good, guys. The only one of the parts that I loved was the guy that played Jimmy. I already know his name, but he was awesome. He 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 he's like you you see a bunch of um different characters who look kind of like him throughout the the trailer and he plays like the actor plays all these different specific roles and you'll learn about that when you watch the movie. And the actor did an excellent job with each single role he did. I mean, one of the best performances I've seen in a movie this year. That's about the best praise I can give it. Another, well, I do have one more praise, I have to admit. This was one of the best movie experiences I've seen all year. Even though the movie was terrible, just sitting there in the theater, like, all, just watching all this crap unfold was so awesome to see. First off, the theater was empty, except me... And my sister and dad, when we watched it earlier this year, it was completely empty, except the three of us. And there was also this guy in the very back. I don't, I'm pretty sure he was filming because I saw a light flash, but whatever. And <laughs> we were watching it, and they, my sister hated this film. My dad didn't really like it that much either. I didn't really like it that much, to be honest with you, either. But it was just so great to see a movie like this, a mindless action movie like this, and it's done, I mean, I haven't really seen a first-person film, like, in the theaters before, or really ever, so that was really awesome to see. Does it get repetitive? Yes. But the ending, so awful, but so good to see on the big screen. Uh, I'm so sorry that my channel wasn't up when this movie was out, or, or I would tell you just to watch it, just for the experience. Now that it's out on DVD and Blu-ray and all, if you want to grab a copy, uh, I can't really stop you. If you want to check it out, you can. But just warn you, terrible characters, awful plot. Like the most cliched awful plot you could think of. Mindless, repetitive action. And if you're not a fan of shaky cam, because there is a lot of shaky cam, because it's first person, then you won't really like that either. But I still thought it was really fun, enjoyable, and just a goof movie to watch. The, during this year, which sadly there isn't really that many movies that I really liked that came out this year. There's been a lot of duds, and I mean a lot of duds. So those are my thoughts on Hardcore Henry, and I would give it a well, I would give it a five out of ten because while the movie is really not that good, just my experience watching it and that amazing performance by the actor that played Jimmy, and 
one or two moments that I thought were really cool, I that's why. If you don't really want to see the movie, just watch the trailer that came out. There was two trailers. You can watch one or the other. You could get the same experience just by watching those trailers, basically. Mostly the first one that plays that song during it. So, yeah. It's just basically that. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching my review of Hardcore Henry. I hope you all enjoyed it. And my next review is either going to be that special review for Batman v Superman. Or it's going to be for another video game review. Sorry, I haven't already done that many of those. But I was waiting for this game that was coming out later in October. But I thought, why not review this indie game that was for PlayStation Plus. I played it for a little bit. And I want to maybe just give my quick thoughts on it. So, um, it'll either be that review next or the Batman review. Be Superman. So, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.